Hi, I'm Stepan with Clear Online Video, and welcome to this quick demo of the Titler Pro 5 software by New Blue FX. Titler Pro is an application that allows you to create really sleek titles, lower thirds, and more on the fly. It ships with templates and styles that are easy to use and customize. The software works on both Windows and Macs and starts at $299 US dollars for their base package. For those of you that have seen my past tutorials, you know that I'm all about finding quick and efficient ways to add production value to our projects. In full disclosure, many of the projects we produce typically require quick turnaround times, so that means we're tight on time to create graphics and titles from scratch. One of the things that I love about Titler Pro 5 is that it's compatible with the majority of editing programs like Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. The application can run as a standalone program or it can be launched from your editor. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how this works in Premiere Pro. Here, I've got a project where I'd like to create a title for a local daycare facility. After installing Titler Pro 5, all I have to do is navigate over to the project panel in Premiere, followed by the New Item button. When you select the new item, you will see the option to add a new blue Titler Pro 5 project. Next, a dimensions window will appear and you'll be prompted to confirm the size of your new title project. Typically, this will match the sequence settings that you have for your Premiere timeline. After confirmation, you'll see Titler Pro 5 launch with a straightforward interface. Panels can be moved around similar to Adobe applications. Starting from left to right, we'll begin with a library panel. Here you can browse through several different templates. Double-clicking the folders will open the various templates. A preview of the template will display in the workspace panel simply by hovering over each template with your mouse. You can double-click to edit any of the templates that you like. Customizing the text is as simple as clicking over the title in the workspace panel and replacing it with whatever you'd like. To the left of the workspace, you'll see the Attributes panel. This area allows you to fine-tune the look of your title. Here we can change the typeface, size, and a number of style settings for the title. Controls work by increasing or decreasing the values with sliders or by simply entering the values on your keyboard. Back in the Timeline panel, we can expand the layer options and adjust things like the way this title animates in and out. Here you can see the template transition is set to Bubble Up, which works really well with this brand. However, you can change it by selecting the transition layer and then navigating back to the Attributes panel. Select the Preset dropdown and choose one of the other options. There are even more options to customize your title in this panel. Back in the Timeline panel, you can directly edit the other layers by double-clicking and editing the options in the Attributes panel. Colors can be matched to a client or company branding with a color picker or by entering a hex code. There are also a number of other stylistic choices you can make to these objects as shown here. Once you're happy, you'll want to save this project by navigating to File in the toolbar and then selecting Save As. Confirm the destination of your title and then select Save. Please note that while you have Titler Pro 5 open, Premiere will lock itself out. So the best way to work with this application is by closing it after you've saved your work and then going back into Premiere. Back in Premiere, you will see that the title created in Titler Pro 5 has already been imported into the project panel. Next, you can drag the title onto your timeline and it will play in Premiere. Now, I want to do some further editing and remove this white background from the title so that the text appears over my B-roll in the timeline. All you have to do is double-click the title and the title of Pro 5 application will relaunch. Now I can adjust the opacity settings of that rectangle white background by single-clicking the layer and then adjusting the toggle under Opacity in the Attributes panel. As you can see, the application is actually showing you what the final video is going to look like because it's working with Premiere. I like to think of it as an extension of Adobe Dynamic Link. Once I've made my edits, I'll go ahead and save this and quit the application. Back in Premiere, you will see the changes made and can now do further editing in Premiere. I highly suggest giving Titler Pro 5 a try in your next creative project. It's really a time-saving tool that produces some stunning results. There are a plethora of templates and pre-built animations that can add a lot to your videos. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out my other tutorials on Streaming Media Producer.